to enable.org presents Mathematical Literacy Finance Budgets What is the difference between an income and expenditure statement and the budget? <coughs> an income and expenditure statement is a summary of actual incomes and expenditures. So in a, in a household um, it's money that was actually earned and money that was actually spent. A budget is a summary of estimated incomes and expenditures for a specific for a specific event or an individual, a household or a business. So every month, in the beginning of the month, you will set up a budget and you will say, well, this might be your income for the month and this is how we would spend our money. A budget is done for future events. And uh, an income and expenditure statement is done for a month that is already passed. Expenses and incomes that you've earned for a certain month. What is an estimated cost? A future expense that you will make of which you have guessed the value by looking at current prices of products and trends in the market. For instance, seasonal availability. So for instance, if you want to buy, um, if you have a catering comp company and you're setting up a budget to cater for an event, you're going to, for instance, take uh, the price of vegetables into consideration. Okay, so now this is the the memo for exercise A in household budgets. Let's quickly look at that. Um, this is the exercise. You have done that last yesterday afternoon, so we're now going to look at the memo. How much did Betsy budgeted for the restaurant evening? Okay, 1,235 rand and 50 cents. How much did Betsy budgeted to hire crockery and cutlery and glasses? Okay, she budgeted 125 rand and 50 rand and it gave her 175 rand in total. If Betsy hired enough classes for every student in class, how many students are in the class? 25, okay, because she hired 25 classes. If each student contributes the same amount of money towards the restaurant evening, how much will each student contrib contribute? They will contribute, you will take the total amount, 1,225 rand 50 cents, divided by for 25 students, and each student will have to pay 49 rand 42 cents. How many students will sit at each table? Okay, so each table gets a tablecloth, that's a hint. Okay, so 25 students, 5 tablecloths, so 5 students at a table. Betsy under budgeted, under budgeted on the cost of each crockery and cutlery set. If each set costs 15 rand, how much will each student have to pay for the restaurant evening? Right, so 20, 15 times 25 is 375. So you will first subtract the original cut, cutlery budget, which gives you 1,110 rand 50 cents. And then you will add the new 375 rand, the new amount, which amounts to 1,485 rand and 50 cents. You will take that amount divided by 25 and you will get 59 rand 42 cents. Okay, now Mangela's exercise. How much did Mangela spend on groceries during May? 6,000 rand. How much did Mangela spend on clothing during June? 500 rand. How much should Mangela budget? To spend on yourself and during August, show your calculation to m motivate your answer. Okay, now let's quickly look at that exercise. Right, now, um, do, here is his cell phone. Do you see that there's 200 rand, 210 rand? 220 rand. So each month Mangela spends 10 rand extra 
on his cell phone. Okay, and that is where we got this 220 plus 10. So therefore for August, he needs 10 Rand extra. Sorry. Okay, how much should Mangela budget to spend on groceries during August? Show your calculations to motivate your answer. Right, there's a 1% increase in his expense each month. So therefore, 100% um, represents 6,120. If you add 1% unto 100, you will get 101%. So your calculation that you might have to do is, sorry, wait for the pen, 6,120 Rand times by 101 divided by 100. And that gives us 6,100, oh sorry, and that gives us, okay, so this is where the 101% comes from. It gives us around about 6,180 Rand. Mangela receives an offer to get a bank account that charges 85 Rand per month. It includes all transactions. What are the advantages and disadvantages of such an account? Okay. The advantages is it might be less than his usual expense because in July he spent 90 Rand. It's easier to budget because then he knows every month he's going to spend 85 Rand on bank charges. There will be no unexpected surprises so there might not be a month where you will have to pay 250 Rand. If you have to do more transactions you don't have to pay more. The disadvantages. You, it might be more than he would, would usually spend. So in June he would he only spent eighty rand, and this is five rand more. If you receive no more income, no income during a month, and therefore you don't have to use your bank account, your expense will remain eighty five rand. Okay, so if if there's a time where you will lose your job or lose your source of income, you will still have to pay eighty five rand every month. Okay, and this is the um, c completed. Um, sorry, this is the com completed. Uh, 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 Mangela's completed budget. Um, his fixed expenses was three thousand four hundred each month. His variable expenses changed between. 7,235 to 7,600 to 7,290. So his total expenses were 10,635 Rand, 11,000 and 10,690 was his total expenses. Okay, so let's quickly look at these questions again. Um, the, it, that was the totals for each month. Now for to Tomorrow's lesson, you please have to do exercise B, which is household budgets. Um, please do not look at a week's um, answers before you have done the exercise, otherwise you are wasting your time. Thank you very much and good luck with that exercise.